first guest this hour continues to expand our radio listening choices. And this year, he continues to surprise us with all kinds of cool announcements at CES. We're catching up with a regular on Into Tomorrow. President and CEO of Ibiquity HD Radio is Bob Struble. Bob, welcome back. How are you? I'm just fabulous, Dave, and uh, we couldn't be more happy than to be here again at CES, 19 years and three weeks of programming. You must have a lot to cover, so oh, we're, we're yes. honored to, to make that cut. Three weeks and four days. It's hard to cram it all in, and a lot of videos and everything, as you well know, that we're always shooting. We, we always ha have a nice visit by your exhibit as well. We just came back from your booth uh, having to squeeze in amongst all the people wanting to know what's new with HD Radio, and a much larger exhibit, too. I don't know how, much, how you fit as many cars into your, uh, well, into your as, booth. Well, as the <laughs> business has expanded and as the products have grown we've uh, felt the need to grow our booth so yeah brand new booth this year uh, much larger space and it looks a little bit like a car sales lot there's a few <laughs> automobiles on there and and Dave I think the important thing is um, these are mainstream affordable cars uh, so we were able to make the announcement this year happily that every automaker is offering the technology and at least some of their vehicles um, and those are well down the line to the mass market so on in our booth you and I sat in a Toyota Corolla we've got a Honda Civic we have a Ford Fiesta we've got a Mazda 3 these are mainstream cars they're great implementations and they're bringing the uh, new services and new uh, channels of HD Radio to, to listeners around the country. And of course, we've talked since HD Radio started over the years, and, and back then it was only some fairly expensive vehicles that had that option. And well, okay, you kind of expect that. Early adopters are gonna pay for things. And then it got a lot more mainstream the last few years where anybody can afford a vehicle that, oh, amazingly, comes with HD radio. <laughs> That's right, and, and the statistics bear it out. We were, uh, again, as we looked back at 2013, what we found, Dave, was one third of all cars sold in America came with HD radio technology, one third. That number will be nice. closer to a half this year. So you begin to see this, uh, as you often see in technology businesses, hit an inflection point, um, you get to that critical mass, um, and then that virtuous cycle happens and you see the growth uh, perpetuate. Uh, on the listening side, uh, again, a couple of stats that may be interesting to your listeners. Uh, number one, 78% uh, of all radio listening that is taking place in America is on stations that have upgraded to HD radio. So those consumers go out and buy those new cars, um, get those new home radios. The odds are very, very likely that the stations that there are that are their favorites that they're used to listening to will have new HD programming. Um, and secondly, we've done a, a just a roll up of the overall listening, and the number is three billion hours with a B. Three billion hours of radio listening took place on HD radio receivers nice. in 2013. That's amazing, and, and we're proud that some of our several of our affiliates that carry into tomorrow are, have HD channels, and we're on some of them. So you may very well be listening to us now on an HD Gosh, radio. Gosh, I hope so. Yes, exactly. And more and more as they progress. Is it still accurate enough to say that HD radio uh, makes AM sound more like FM and FM sound more like CD quality. It's, it's kind of like oversimplifying it, but that seems to get to a lot of people that go, oh, wow, okay, it now was, I'm interested. It you was know? the initial difference, and again, um, uh, we've spoken about this through the years. Every other medium has made the conversion to digital. Yeah. Uh, everything that uh, consumers are listening to, everything they're watching, uh, all the devices they're carrying around or using in their home are digital, and that's because digital just does more than analog technology. Think of the beautiful pictures on your new digital TV or all the great things your smartphone can do versus those old big analog bricks. That same dynamic occurs in radio. You've highlighted the uh, first benefit, which was it sounds better. Yeah. FM sounds like CDs, AM sounds like FM. But Dave, as we've evolved the technology through the years and as we had a chance to tour in the booth, it has become a whole lot more um, than just an audio service. Yeah, it sounds better. Yes, you get extra, uh, extra channels. They're calling them now HD2s or HD3s. If you buy one of these new cars, you'll likely see a an HD logo with a two or a three that are telling you there's additional channels. Mm -hmm. That can be as, as many as 30 or 40 new signals in a market offering diverse programming. Mm -hmm. Bluegrass and, and reggae and comedy and outlaw country I know is one of your favorites. Well, Chris, is, I, don't, I don't claim uh, to that. Not, I, okay. I, don't, I don't do country or western. I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> nor do I, but uh, for guys like me, we've got an alt rock station and I've got an 80s station up in... Uh, in, in Baltimore. So um, uh, many, many new formats and new programs. Um, uh, the other advantage, though, is there's new data services. So as we yes. did, we're able to see beyond that great audio, 
Um, I can get free traffic updates telling me what's going on in town or where the construction is or where the delays are plotted onto my navigation screen. Um, I can see album cover art, the, the, what I expect to see now when I'm listening to audio. And I can tag a song if I want it. Maybe I do want to buy that song because that's right. it's awesome and simple tag, push a button. I was it's sitting in there a, for a car today doing a demo and a song came on and the person I was doing the demo said, I wanted that song for the longest time and I can never remember what it is. And I said, great, let's press the tag button. And the next time you go to iTunes, you're going to see a little folder and it'll be tagged and that song will be there. So it's traffic, it's weather, all these things, Dave, and we emphasize it uh, repeatedly are free to the consumer. As radio should be. As radio should be. So you're getting all these additional advantages in addition to great sound quality, and this is all with HD radio. You're not paying any monthly subscriptions. You're not paying for satellite or some other goofy stuff. It's radio the way it's meant to be. Seems like a no-brainer. I I'm know. Going by the cars, and, and there more and more uh, uh, folks are rolling off the lot, seeing it in the rental cars, and I think as people get exposure to the technology, they understand the value that it brings. Um, boy, that's just driving a whole lot more sales. And ah, we couldn't be more pleased. For sure. And of course, and now, and you don't stop at just car radios because we're all so mobile these days. Folks are saying, well, how about on my smartphone? How about on my tablet? Yeah, Bob and his team have that covered too. As they say in the business, stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> the radio is an out of home, uh, out of home business, out of home listening experience. And where people listen these days are in their cars, obviously. We've got that pretty well covered. Uh, but now we're migrating to phones and tablets. We were able to demonstrate. Uh, to you in the booth, uh, a beautiful Android tablet with FM radio, uh, HD quality, in built into the device. So if I'm driving around town or I'm uh, away from home, I don't have my Wi-Fi connection, well, I'm not out of touch. I can, uh, I can listen and see traffic and see weather. And, those and we expect to see those kinds of things this year. We're hoping in 2014, yes. Yes, as Bob said, stay tuned, among other things. And, of course, radios for your home as well. A great a plethora of assortment of radios, HD radios for your home, too. We've so. got we've got the high-end covered with the uh, Danons and the Marances and the Onkios, so uh, for the folks that have high-end AVR. But we go down to uh, clock radios and $49 table radios and little armbands. So they're out there. Check them out at Best Buy. Uh, we're in the stores in, in, in Costco and Sears and uh, Walmart as well. They're out there. Obviously, car radios as well. You want to oh, swap sure. out your, your old car radio. You don't want to buy a new car, but you want HD. Uh, the folks at Pioneer or Sony or Kenwood or JVC can help you out with that. Uh, love it. Well, you owe it to yourself if you have not yet experienced HD radio. Did I mention it's free? No subscription fees and that sort of thing? Do just that. HDradio.com will get you to all the various radios and sources and station listings. There's everything for you at HDradio.com. Bob Struble, as always, thanks for spending a few minutes with us. We'll let you get back to your very busy exhibit here at CES. Happy to. Uh, Dave, uh, one last plug is, uh, in addition to HDradio.com, we were able to see there is a new HD radio app out. So yeah. uh, you can go. It's a free download on uh, the iTunes store or the Android store. Uh, if you've just got an HD radio, you're curious about the stations that are in uh, your market or whatever market you're, you're traveling to, Download the free app, station guide, what the formats are, where they are, connect with the station. It's a real great and free way um, to get a little bit of a primer on the technology. Excellent. And it's all about the apps, too, because they're making life easier for you. HDradio.com for all the info. Intotomorrow.com. We'll link you to Bob's site and all of our guests. And we're back with more from Las Vegas and CES 2014. I'm Dave Graveline on the Advanced Media Network.